All right, welcome back to our series on 7422 PowerPoint 2013. This will be the 19th video in the series, the next to the last video of the series. Um, I really appreciate you guys for watching my videos on YouTube. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed the content. So this video, we're going to learn how to track changes and resolve differences between PowerPoint presentations. So I'm going to present you with the following scenario. Okay. And that is that I'm doing a sales presentation. So I got my PowerPoint here and I'm living large, right? I got sales presentation presented by Adam. Uh, the second slide is merely a list of our product specifications. I didn't really do anything too technical here, just spec one, spec two, spec three, uh, for illustrative purposes. And then I have product pictures. I guess our company sells bolts or something like that, let's say. Right, so I have a picture of our, our product pictures here. Right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this to a coworker of mine. We'll say his name is Bob. Right, so I can send this to him a number of different ways. I can save it to my OneDrive and send him a link in an email, so he can download it and look at it. I can email it to him. I can put it on a network share. Um, I could put it on a floppy disk <laughs> if I wanted to. Uh, there's really no sense in burning it to a CD and wasting a whole CD. There's a, a, a numerous ways to get somebody a file nowadays uh, besides burning it to a CD. Um, I don't think any modern computer even has a floppy disk on it, uh, or a floppy drive in it, rather. Uh, so, anyway, I'm going to get this to Bob somehow, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to close out of this. I have a folder on my desktop. We're just going to use this for quote-unquote classroom purposes. And it's called Bob's Files. So Bob gets a copy of this file. I'm going to play Bob now. Hey, Adam sent me this file to check out, right? So I'm going to open this thing up. And as Bob, I am going to make changes to this PowerPoint presentation. All right, we're going to let it open here little bit. Alright, so as Bob, I'm going to make some changes. Oh, wait, activation has to go. There we go. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font type here, right? Because as Bob, I do not like that font type. Well, I'm going to change it to Arial Black, which is neat. I can do this, but I want to tell Adam because I'm Bob now, right? I'm not Adam. I want to tell Adam why I changed it. All right? So what we can do is we can insert what are called comments. Okay? So I'm going to click the review tab in the affluent ribbon there. And I'm going to click the new comment button here. There we go. And I can the comments task pane comes up and I can say, "All right, um this font type for the title looks much better. All right, and if I want to maybe delete my comment, I can delete my comment by clicking that button there. If I need to add another comment for this slide, I click New and just add a new comment to it. All right, I'm going to delete that one, and you can even Hold that if it's not open, if the comments pane isn't open for you, if it's closed or whatever, then just click it and it will come back and it will show you the uh, the comments pane. All right. I'm also going to change this and I'm going to include Adam's last name because he's worked hard to do this presentation. People should know who he is. All right, and I'm going to add a new comment. Okay, I added your last name. Be proud of your work. And I can put some exclamation points for emphasis there. All right. So it puts the comments by what it pertains to, right? Because I was in that area when I made the comment. I'm going to go down to product specifications. I'm going to change these. I'm not going to change the font type on these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the bullet type. Here we go. I'm going to change it to these here. There we go. 
put comments there. Here we go. I added a better bullet. Let's take a look and let me know what you think. Great. And I'm going to make this. Can I make this all caps here? Let me see. Oh, nope. That increases the font size of it. Here we go. Well, here, I made the font a little bigger. All right. Font, uh,. A little bigger there we go and I'm gonna go down to the picture here and that's not the right picture that's not the product that we're presenting so I'm gonna go in and I'm going to place the right picture for Adam bolt there we go and what's the picture of the bolt we got no not the dog that'd be funny though there we go I'm gonna pop that in there and I'm just going to change the picture real quick to something pretty decent. There we go. That looks pretty good there. And we got a little, looks like a CAD uh, XYZ coordinates going on there. I'm going to add a new comment. And I'm going to say I changed the picture because you had the wrong one inserted. Alright, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to save this file and I'm going to send it back to Adam. Alright, email OneDrive. Well, actually, I just sent him back the email saying, hey, I made some changes on the OneDrive file. Let me know what you think. I would uh, tell him, hey, I, you know, I'd communicate with him in some way. I was done reviewing his presentation. So, as Adam, alright, I'm back to being Adam. Hey, how you guys doing? Hey, it looks like Bob's done with my uh, PowerPoint presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my presentation that I did before I sent it to Bob. All right, let me get this one opened up here. There's my sales presentation. Let me see what Bob's suggestions were. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the Review tab in my Affluent ribbon. I'm going to get rid of the activation here. And I'm going to click Compare. All right. When I click Compare, I can go through my file system. I can find the one that Bob did for me, whether it's on my OneDrive or, uh, you know, a network share, what have you. Or maybe I downloaded it from my email. I'm even going to rename this one to Bob revision. There we go, so I don't get them messed up. There we go. Now, what I can do is I can say, all right, here's the slide changes over here. Here's all the revisions that were made. If I want to go to one of those revisions for this slide, I can say, well, that's comments. The little sticky notes are comments. If I want to click this one here, Sorry about that. There we go. So I can click the comments here and I can say, you know, type user interface, oh, excuse me, text format, type face user. All right. I can click next to go to the next one. I can click next to go on through my presentation. I can click previous to go through there. Um, I can accept this change, even if I want to know what this change is. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to accept this change. Or I can re or I can reject the change. You know, I can go back, accept and reject multiple times if I want to to kind of see what they look like. All right, I decide I like that one, so I'm going to go to the next one, and that is inserted VZ. All right. The user in parentheses is just who did it. It's the same user account because we're playing pretend you know, I'm pretending I'm Bob. So if this were in an actual live environment, you would see the username of the person that made the changes. All right. 
So I can say, yeah, I kind of like that one. All right, maybe I should have put my last name on there. Um, another thing I can do is I can go to comments here. I can click on the comments here. There we go, and I can see the comments pane, which I'm going to go over here and I'm going to kind of tuck my thumbnail view away a little bit so I can see a little bit more of what's going on. Uh, this font type for the title looks much better. All right. I'm going to delete that comment. And I can reply to comments too if you're doing something back and forth with a coworker. You can comment on his comments. Um, okay, yeah, I'll add my last name. Why not? And I'm going to close out of that. Okay. The revisions. I'm going to slide my thumbnail view back out here. All right, let me go to the next slide. Let me see what Bob did for me here. All right. What did I do here? Here we go. Oh, he changed the font size to that. Uh, let me see what it looks like. Accept. Reject. Eh, maybe I like the font size of that. Maybe I don't want it to be like up in their face or anything like that. So I'm not going to use his suggestion on that one. I'm going to go to the next one here. And changes, all changes to content placeholder 2. Um, let me accept them. Hey, I do like that bulleted list, though. That's kind of cool. All right. I'm going to go through. And... Oops, sorry. i got to click on the comment itself, don't I? Here we go. Here we go. And I'm going to delete both these comments. Now, the comments won't show up when you're showing your presentation to your audience. These are just for your use only. All right, and it'll even show you which changes you accepted and everything like that. If I go back to my slide presentation, you see how there's a little black uh, check mark in both of these. That means I accepted that presentation, uh, accepted that change. Uh, so here we go. Let me go down to product pictures here. And what change did good old Bob make for me here? Picture user, picture size, and position. All right. Well, what did he do here? Oh, that's right. That's the bolt that we were supposed to use, not those other bolts. I wasn't supposed to use these. I was supposed to use these bolts. All right. Good catch, Bob. Good catch. All right. So I'm going to accept that change as well. I'm going to end the review. Are you sure you want to end the review for this one? Or the, end the re, and any unapplied changes will be discarded. Yes. All right. Now I'm back to sales presentation. And the changes that I accepted were in there, right? I forgot to add that, or excuse me, I forgot to delete this comment here. And I did that kind of on purpose because I wanted to show you that when we do show our presentation, yeah, graphics are not configured, whatever, all right? It doesn't show actually show up in my presentation. That's just for my use only, right? I want to end the show. I'm going to right click and end the show. There we go. And that is how we track changes and resolve differences uh, within a PowerPoint presentation. Now, for some reason, they never have standardized this across the different Office applications. So you're going to see a different way to track changes in Word and Excel and well, obviously PowerPoint. And uh, such as, I think those are the only three main programs that you can actually track changes in. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure off the top of my head. I know you can't do it in Access. Uh, I know you can't do it in Outlook, of course. Uh, but those are the three major programs you can. Word, Excel, PowerPoint. And there's kind of a different way to do it throughout each program. All right. I hope you've had fun watching my videos. I hope they've been informative to you. Uh, I hope you guys really start using PowerPoint. Thank you for watching my videos. I look forward to doing video number 20 uh, very soon. And this will be... And video 20 will be the last video in the series for PowerPoint 2013. All right. Have a great time. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching.